Sir Robert Jones says he's never read a petition which called for his knighthood to be revoked and he claims defamed him. The petition was started by filmmaker Rene Maihi following comments he made in an NBR column in 2018. The millionaire businessman has now taken legal action and the case is before the High Court. Mediana Johnson was in court today and filed this report. Sir Robert was all set to take the witness stand this morning when he realised he'd forgotten his hearing aid. After an hour-long adjournment and once another hearing device could be located, his cross-examination could finally get underway again. When being questioned by Ms Maihi's lawyer Davy Salmon, Sir Robert admitted he hadn't read the petition. Ms Maihi's petition you have not read in toto because she linked to mainstream news that you never read when choosing to sue her. I've never read her petition, I admit that. All I know was that she was aware that I was aware that she's running a petition on the knighthood proposition, which is insulting. You've never read her petition even now? No. Sir Robert says he formed the view that Ms Maihi's motives were dishonest and he didn't need to read the petition to establish that. He then went on to say he might have read the petition, but he couldn't recall. Sir Robert claims in the NBR column that there are no full-blooded Māori left and that if it had not been for Brits, not a single Māori today would have existed. This comment came under the scrutiny of defence lawyer Mr Salmon. You would have known before that that the notion of measuring Māoriness, as it's described there, according to blood quantum, is deeply controversial? Oh, it's ridiculous. I've never suggested that. You can't... Blood, blood knows no racial division. Maori blood's the same as our blood. We're talking about ancestry. It was at that point, and not for the first time, that Justice Thomas had to stop Sir Robert. Again, uh, um, unless you want me to do this every five minutes, can you please just listen to... The questions and answer the questions. I am. But I, I mean, he asked me to agree with the blood proposition. No, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, then I misunderstood. I'm I, sorry. Start again, please. An expert witness for the defence is expected to take the stand to discuss the notion of blood quantum later in the trial. Outside the courthouse, 81-year-old Ken Finlay from Ngāti Kahangungu was protesting against Sir Robert. I know his views on race and Māori. I don't agree with them, and that's why I'm down here with this black eye. I've got grandchildren who are Māori, and I want them to live in a country that they can feel comfortable in. Ken Finlay says people on the receiving end of Sir Robert's sense of humour don't find it funny. The author of Once We Were Warriors, Alan Duff, and Emeritus Professor of Political Science and International Relations, Dame Margaret Clark, are expected to take the witness stand for the plaintiff later this week. Mo te hōtaka o te ahiahi, ko Miriana Johnson, DNA.